Good morning and welcome to today's special recognition ceremony to honor National Public Works Week. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. Every year, National Public Works Week gets bigger and better, and the number of participants continues to grow, which means more and more of our citizens come to understand the importance of public works in our community. One of the main goals of this week is to educate the general public about the value and necessities of public works projects throughout the country and in our own community. Many people take our critical infrastructure that is maintained and constructed by our public works uh, staff for granted. Public works professionals, like our employees, are our best ambassadors. Since 1960, the American Public Works Association has sponsored National Public Works Week. In Frederick County, we appreciate the hard work and dedication of our Division of Public Works and the planning, building, maintenance, and operation of our publicly owned buildings, roads, and other facilities that are fundamental to delivering quality of life to our residents. The people who work in public works are solving some of the toughest challenges that face our community. The divisions of public works in Frederick County is comprised of three departments. We have fleet services, engineering and construction management, and highways and facilities maintenance. And they um, work with about 193 county employees. Fleet services manages the administration of approximately 980 vehicles. That's, you heard that, just under 1,000 vehicles. And that includes the purchase of the vehicles, the maintenance of the vehicles over all their years of service, and then the disposal when they come to the end of their useful life. And they do that with five maintenance shops, one for heavy vehicles, one for light vehicles, one for fire apparatus, one for transit buses, and the other for law enforcement vehicles. Fleet also purchases just under 1.4 million gallons of fuel a year and maintains six county fueling stations with uh, inventory capacity of 78,000 gallons of fuel. Engineering and construction management staff are actively working on 58 capital projects, and they range from relatively small pro projects like a parking lot overlay to um, major projects like new bridges. This department will have also performed inspection on 143 bridge bridges during this fiscal year. Facilities management maintains over 1.5 million square feet of space in 161 buildings. And of course, highway operations is best known and well known for its expertise in snow removal. But there's a lot of other things you should know. Highway operations responded to over 4,000 work orders. They performed 20,000 square yards of road patching. They installed approximately 5,000 traffic signs along the county road network, which consist of 1,273 center lane miles. That's 902 miles of paved roads, 311 miles of tar and chip roads, and 60 miles of gravel roads. And remember, too, that Public Works employees are great team players. The work they do is coordinated across um, many other county agencies, whether it's emergency management, water and sewer utilities, recycling, fire rescue, citizen services, and many others. And the projects they manage really do affect every aspect of our life every day. And a lot of times people will ask me, you know, what do I get for my tax dollars? And I'll say, well, how did you get here? And they'll tell me why I drove. And I said, well, then you had to drive on a road that's maintained by the county, the city, or the state, or maybe the federal government. And people take for granted all the roads and, and what those, that transportation network provides to them. We have many county uh, buildings which have to be maintained, and certainly all the vehicles people see out on our roads, whether it's our fire tr trucks or our law enforcement vehicles, are maintained in-house by our county staff. So I'd now like to read the National Public Works Week proclamation. Whereas the American Public Works Association has designated National Public Works Week as a time to celebrate the accomplishments of the men and women who are involved in this diverse industry that significantly impacts our citizens' everyday lives, and whereas this year's theme of Public Works, Always There, is a tribute to all the Public Works employees and contractors who influence the foundation of a strong and sustainable community. 
And whereas the support of an understanding and informed citizenry is vital to the effectiveness of public works programs, such as those provided by the Frederick County P Department of Engineering and Construction Management, the Department of Highways and Facilities Maintenance, the Department of Fleet Services, and the Management Support Section, and the Administrative Staff. Whereas the efficiency of the qualified and conscientious staff of the Frederick County Department of Public Works is enhanced by citizens' appreciation of the importance and scope of work of the division. Whereas all citizens and civic organizations are called upon to familiarize themselves with the functions of public works and to recognize the contributions public work employees make each and every day to ensure our health, safety, comfort, and quality of life. Now, therefore, as the County Executive of Frederick County, Maryland, I hereby proclaim May 15th through May 21st, 2016 as National Public Works Week in Frederick County, and I commend this observance to all of our citizens. Now, I would like to um, ask the division director, uh, Chuck Knipe, to uh, come up and introduce, say a few words, and introduce all the men and women who have joined us for this proclamation today. Thank you, Executive Gardner, for recognizing the Division of Public Works and the professionalism of the entire Public Works family. In the light of events of the past year, I want to especially thank the employees. As many citizens may not be aware, we respond to emergencies 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You remove trees from the roadway during the night. You repair critical building systems to allow county businesses to conduct to county business to be conducted without interruption, and service emergency vehicles to enable our law enforcement and fire rescue partners to conduct their vital services. This dedication and service to Frederick County often requires interruption to your personal and family lives. I would ask that everyone join us in acknowledging and appreciation of the public service provided by, in my opinion, one of the best DPW teams in the nation. And with that, I'll introduce you to the representatives. Uh, starting on the end, we have Rick Fogel with Highway Ops, Rick Daub, Highway Operations, Rick Orndorf, Highway Operations, Buck Buchanan, Facilities Maintenance, if you could raise your hands, Tony, Tony Pellegrino, Facilities Maintenance, uh, Scott Wisner, Fleet Services, Mike Heflin, Fleet Services, Jason Stitt, Transportation Engineering, Dave Ennis, Department of Facilities and Highway, Facilities Maintenance and Highways. Pat Hanna, Fleet Services. Kristen Albert, Administrative Support. Doug Perry, Facilities Maintenance. Sue Barthol, Project Management. Brian Smith, Highway Operations. Robert Shen, Engineering and Construction Management. Gail Reeder with Highway Operations. Gary Shankle, Highway Operations. Bruce Boss, Highway Operations. Randy Bogus, Highway Operations. Jason Cooper, Highway Operations. Mike Ramsberg, Highway Operations. Bill Routson with Highway, <laughs> Bill Routson with Highway Operations. He's hiding back there. Wayne Persinger, Highway Operations. David Stone Cipher, Highway Operations. I, is that all? Is that everybody? Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Chuck. You did a good job uh, introducing your entire team, and we really do thank you all for being here, here today. And I also want to uh, acknowledge uh, that the president of the county council, uh, Bud Otis, is uh, standing here with me. You know, together we do uh, share a value for appreciating all of our county employees. Right. That is one of the uh, most important things that uh, we want to do and do together because you are the face of Frederick County and you are the people who do the work that makes county government function and we really sincerely uh, appreciate that. I'm very thankful for the dedicated county employees in our Division of Public Works who uh, keep us safe, dig us out from snowstorms, oversee transportation priorities, manage our vehicles, both large and small, and maintain and renovate county uh, buildings, which you quite frankly do a superb job. And I think it's really important. The taxpayers have made a major investment in the infrastructure, roads, and buildings in our community, and we take good care of them. And I think that's a very important uh, role that we do. 
I also want to commend our Public Works employees and the outstanding ways they serve citizens day and night, 24 hours a day, all year round, whether they're in the office or out in the roads or out in the field. We're proud to hang the 2016 Public Works poster, which is displayed right here, which says, um, which has a theme always there, and we're hanging that in the lobby of Winchester Hall. The theme showcases the importance of public works. Communities really depend on public works, and the men and women of the profession are always there, and they're always ready to provide outstanding services to the citizens of the county. Would you like to say a few words? I was uh, very impressed with the work of this department in our office building in Winchester Hall. Uh, we had a complete uh, move take place. It was done very professionally. Uh, you'd hardly know it was happening. And I really appreciated Chuck, you and your staff and all they did to make that go as nice as it did. And we are here today, and if you get nothing more out of this than this, we want you to know we really do appreciate you, okay? Please understand that because you do a lot of work, a lot of th thankless work, nobody sees it, but it gets done. And I want you to know I see a lot of it going on and I appreciate it and I wanna thank you on behalf of uh, the council and personally, uh, I want you to know I appreciate you very much. And I agree with uh, County Executive Jan Gardner we want to make sure the county employees understand they are our most valuable asset that we have. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, President Otis. And I wanna thank you for joining us today in recognition of our public works employees and the, the importance of the work they do. The next time you see someone who works in public works for Frederick County government or in public works for, for any other government in our county, Take a moment and thank that individual and express your appreciation for the good work that they do each and every day to make sure that we have a high quality of life in Frederick County. Thank you for joining us.